So I'm just gonna continue to work on her shoulder, loosen it up. The right shoulder was hurt, so sometimes as a result of having a painful right shoulder, you're gonna have tension in the left side as well. So we really wanna be balanced, and I relax both sides of the horse. Good girl, she's already starting to relax. I am still sleepy. She's a girl, good. And I'll probably get to go deeper in here because she's not gonna have as much pain in her entry. I'm already starting to be able to go way behind her shoulder blade, which is huge. Good. And then again, with my right hand, it's behind elbow and I'm like poking and prodding and working on that area as well because pretty much behind the shoulder blade and right behind the elbow there's a lot of things that connect which is like muscles and, and uh, nerves. So right now I'm working in her anterior pectorals and behind the elbow and the forearm. In order for me to get a full fully release and connection in through the shoulder, a lot of times I have to get behind here. And she's given me an opening. Not all horses I can actually put my hand in there. Um, sometimes it takes a long time for them to loosen up. But she's very willing because she knows that I'm helping her. So I'm going to work on these areas. A lot of horses with girth issues, if you relax these muscles and release that tension, you're gonna see a difference in girthing issues in general. She's a little sore here, so I'm just trying to keep um, keep it very gentle and light because she just she's sore. <laughs> Again, with my left hand is up in the shoulder area working. Good girl. I'm gonna work out a little bit in here. Just really opening up these behind the shoulder blade because of her injury on the right side. Good girl, don't bite me. Girl. So she's responding by putting her head down to that release and that pressure. Good girl. And now as you can see, sometimes she'll begin to yawn. And there we go. She's a good girl. on underneath the litter and behind where the saddle is, behind that shoulder. All this muscle right here can get very tight and tense and then you have a very cranky horse. Good girl. So love your massages. There's another little technique that I like to do. Just put my hands in one spot and just rest there. And as soon as I do that, many horses start to relax and yawn. It's just being kind of one with the horse, connecting with your horse. You can do this at any time, really. Um, but you have to be patient to see the results because they're not always going to be like immediately ready uh, to relax. But she's already yawned five times just with my hands on her back like this. So it really does make a difference. And now she won't do it because she's on video. <laughs> so I'm just going to get on Freya today. We just massaged her just to see um, if we can get some more relaxation and stretch um, through her back and through her shoulder muscles while I ride her. So um, that's my goal for today's ride. Not challenging. Just a little stretch. Nope. She likes to do this. Doesn't like to stand still, which I don't like, but we're gonna work with it. Good girl.
So I always ask her to hoe at the end because I don't want her to walk away. So she needs to listen to me and no one else. body work with massage on any horse. Um, I work with every discipline. I also provide professional clipping. Um, this horse I just clipped. Um, <clears throat> I also provide uh, dressage training and an instruction if you have your own horse. The massage really, really helps build a bond between the horse and the rider. Um, it creates less tension in the horse so the horse performs better but it also gives the rider a better feel because their horse is not in pain and so um, you can get my services or you can contact me through Facebook or Instagram and um, I guess that's it I hope you have a wonderful day